Hey, it's Ghost Mouse here, and welcome back to our blind playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Let's go. Hey, here we are, back in the Undead Settlement. So excited to get back to playing some more of this game. I held myself back from playing it a bit, because I wanted everyone to get caught up with what I'd recorded. So, you've all seen the cursed rotten tree thing now. And, uh, it's time to move on to the next bit. Oh, I don't miss these. <laughs> don't miss these giant arrows. No, no. Bush of some of that. Yeah, so the advice I've been given so far is to just avoid the um, avoid the big tree. Leave them for later. So that is what I'm going to do. I didn't even realize. I mean, oh my god. I forgot about you. I totally forgot about that guy. Um... Yeah, I figured that the tree would be, you know, like I'd have to do it to progress with the game. But it sounds like he's either optional or, uh, at the very least, I don't need to do him until later. So, we'll crack on and do something else for now. Although, I didn't actually know there was another way to go. So... <laughs> I'm saying that we'll do something else, but we'll have to find what that something else is, because I'm not sure where else we can go yet. Oh! There we go. <laughs> he just... That giant has just cleared out the house for us. Oh, no. No, these guys are fast. No. Oh. I've just remembered that I don't have a shield. <laughs> Damn. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. I was watching a mate of mine, Croesus, playing Dark Souls 2 the other night, and oh, he, he had a shield. I I missed the days of having a shield, but I've got my pyro. I mean, oh yeah, I have got a shield in my other slot. Okay, well, let's go back to that. Right. So it was round here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where we are now. So. Through there. Okay, that's the big tree. So we'll leave that for now and we'll head down this way. Great cursed tree ahead. See, it lied to me. The tree is not ahead. The tree is behind me. Unless, of course, you came from this direction, then it would be ahead. Ooh, what's this down here? A transposing kiln lies within the belly. Okay. Thanks for the, uh... Tip. Right. It's another fatty. Someone was mentioning to me that these are the only enemy in the game that talk to you while they're uh, fighting you. And there's a lot of lore around them. If you, uh... Oh, no. Go away. Go away. Go away. Ah! If you can... Oh, no. If you can get them to, um, uh, if you, oh no, if you can get their equipment off them, apparently there's a lot of lore to be found about them. Have it, son. Take that, fatty. Right. Okay. Oh, I'll see if I can loot him in a minute or her once I have cleared the path a bit. Ah, there we go, a lovely, a backstab. Oh, we got a doggy. Come on, doggy. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, we get evangelist trousers. There we go. So that's part of their outfit. Hello, doggy. Can I just sneak up on you and have you with an axe in the face? Ooh, an ember. Very nice. Yeah, so I've got to find the base of the base of Lothric, is that I think it's called, or the base of the high wall, because that's where Grey Rat, that's where Grey Rat's lady friend is, and I need to give her the ring. Have it, lads. Right, okay, up the steps. And we've got one of these guys who has an enormous... Sh oh, what the hell just happened? Okay. Some people just died. 
and I don't know why. It's, that's always a worry, because it means... Oh, God, he's got something big he wants to throw at me. Oh. Oh, my God. What is that? Oh. Back off, son. Oh, my God. No. 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 No! Ah, I tried to roll away to safety, and I rolled away to my death. Lovely. Right, okay, we are back with this guy with his huge bowl. Hang on, let's take out these guys. I don't think they're going to do anything, but... I'd be really annoyed if they decided to join in the fight while I wasn't there. While I was busy dealing with this guy. Oh! My god. He does not mess about, does he? Oh no, we've run out of FP. I have got a flask, but now is not the time. Just gotta... Oh! No! Come on! Oh. Yes, that was too close. Too close. Okay, we've had our FP flask and we've had our Estus. Let's go. What have we got in store for us? I am very scared. I can hear groaning or something. <laughs> oh! Who's throwing stuff at me? Oh! Come on, lads. <laughs> let me uh, let me have a little look around first. Oh, God. So, oh, the God, they're everywhere. Oh, and I think they're explosive barrels. Yeah, <laughs> they are. Stay away from the explosive barrels. Okay, let's just get across the bridge. This looks like some kind of safety. Either that or a boss room. <laughs> Could be either one. Cadaceous shield. Oh, God. Not that safe because I've got. Oh, what's that? I can hear something. Okay. Just gotta keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, it was one of those little witches. Cheeky monkeys. Yeah, I just gotta keep moving so I don't get an arrow in the face. Is there, is there any more of them? Okay. Right, let's go inside. Oh, that is just typical, isn't it? <laughs> that is Dark Souls all over. Does not open from this side. Yeah, cheers for that. Okay, back we go. So we could hop down there. Oh, God. Um, can we have a look around here? Oh, hello. Found a secret little path here. Hello, sir. And you like one a fire clutch ring? We've got plenty. Oh god, hang on. Let's just before we start going into our inventory, let's check that the fire bombs can't reach us. Okay, it looks like we're in the clear. Yeah, we've got plenty of space for rings, so why not use them? Increases fire attack, but compromises damage absorption. Ooh, that's interesting. Increases fire attack, which is obviously very nice for a pyromancer. Yeah, go on. But it sounds like it's going to increase how much damage we take as well. Oh, we'll just have to make sure we don't get hit, won't we? Okay, so there was two ways anyway. When we, when we got into this little area, there was two ways to go. There was up. We can go up the stairs, or we could go down this path. Across the bridge that Fatty's guarding. So let's put our new fire. Oh, God. Let's put our new f fire. Oh, dearie me. That didn't go well for you, did it? She fell off the edge. Okay. Before I start laughing and celebrating, I should probably, you know, <laughs> make sure I'm okay. Okay, so I can deal with this guy, and then we've got two of those guys with the bowls. Uh, bosh. Okay, so before I take on those guys with the bowls, I'm going to have a little look in this. Oh, it's a dog. Okay. Oh, 
Did I? I think I just saw a bonfire. Please say I saw a bonfire. That would be... Oh, no, I didn't. I just saw light. Happiness ahead. Maybe it is a bonfire. But then, you know, happiness, and then, it, you know, it's a Dark Souls message. It could just be, like, you know, the worst boss ever. Oh, dear. Rats. It could be uh, the biggest troll ever, because... <laughs> it's 50-50 in this game what the messages mean. Okay. It's going okay for now. Praise the strike. Right. Slowly does it. There's ledges above me, which is never good, because it means woman required ahead. I'm a woman. It's locked. Be wary of tough enemy. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, it's all right. I assume <laughs> the rats aren't the tough enemy. Oh, oh, he could be, though. Oh, always nice to hide something like that in fog. Oh, just give me a chance to Estus, please. <laughs> oh. Have some of that, Sonny. Oh, yeah. Not so tough now. Fire! Oh, no. No. I just need to get one more off. Yes, you're dead, son. Got the blood bite ring. What does that do? Increases bleed resistance. Well, might as well. We've got slots for it. Let's go. Yeah, who said there was a tough enemy ahead? Nothing a bit of our pyromancy couldn't deal with. Okay. Come on. Give me a bonfire, people. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I, I've earned it. Right, so we've... Oh, boom! We sort of have got a bonfire because we've come full circle. Love it. Okay, I'm not going to use that yet because all it's going to do is make everyone respawn. And I kind of... I don't need to. Oh, right. It's like that, is it? <laughs> okay. I don't think there's anything else down this area. Nope, that's it. Just, uh... Just a shortcut back to the bonfire. Which is very nice. It is, it is. <laughs> I'm very appreciative. Because now what we can do is go here... And then go back that way to the, you know, the two giant guys with the big bowls. But before we do that, we're going to go back and level up. Alright, here we are. Back to make use of our shortcuts. I really hope that that giant rat... No, <laughs> I was going to say, I really hope he's not there anymore. He is. But at least I can kill him from the safety of up here. There's nothing you can do about it, buddies. Now I can plunge on your face. So just take it, take it easy going down here. Cause yeah, okay. Once we, I just wanted to get through the mist safely and not walk into any rats. Oh, there we go. Right, I think we've cleared the path. There we go. This is quite an easy little. You know, it's it's not too much pain to get back through this. Oh. Doggy. <laughs> oh, doggy can't climb the ladder though, can he? Yeah, so it's not too painful to come... Oh! To come back through this shortcut. I don't know where Fatty's gone. I'm pretty sure Fatty was guarding that bridge. But not anymore. Maybe she's uh, wondered, gone for a little wonder. Oh, no! How dare you miss? Boom. One-shotted. A firebomb. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Did not expect him to throw it at me. Oh, no. Unprepared for this. Totally unprepared for this. <laughs> oh, God. Another jar to the face. I need to get... 
somewhere <laughs> safe. Where's the, where are they? Okay. Oh no! No! The squeal of death. Okay. Yeah, I was unprepared for getting that jar thrown in my face <laughs> and for it knocking off that much help. Okay, at least I can go back in prepared now. So let's get back. Right, okay, here goes, here goes. We can take, we can do this, we can do this. Get away with your jar, son. Oh, dearie me, he just fell down the cliff. Unlucky, son. Right, now we've only got one to deal with. Uh, gotta wake up early in the morning to hit me, son. Around the back. No! Oh. There we go. You're done. Okay, that went a lot smoother than last time. Did help that one just decided to throw himself off a cliff. But I'm not gonna. Hello? Can I sneak up on him? If I could sneak up and knock him, just knock him off the edge. Oh no! Nearly knocked myself off the edge instead. Oh god! Why are you doing this to me? Ah, da, 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 da. let's go. <laughs> Is the distribution of the enemies in this game, like, more random than it has been in, in Dark Souls 1 and 2? Because, like, I've come up this pathway a few times now. First time I saw Fatty, another time I saw a dog, and now I've saw him. Like, it definitely seems like... The layout of the enemies is not identical every single time. Unlike past souls. There he is. We got him to fall in again. You're dead. Easy peasy. Oh. Right. Just got to deal with this guy now. Ah. Oh. Have one of them, Sonny. <laughs> Come on, is this you done? Yeah, boy. Okay, we just gotta go and collect our souls from that guy who killed us. In fact, you know what? I reckon if I just fireball him, he might fall off. Because it does give them a bit of a nudge. Fire! Oh, no, wasn't quite enough. Maybe another one. No, how about another one? No, okay, we're just going to have to <laughs> kill him the old-fashioned way. Oh my god! Oh, there's a dog! There's a dog! Oh god. Oh my god. No, I don't really want to lose my souls if I can avoid it. Um, run away. <laughs> okay, okay. This is fine. I can take him on when he's not got a ball. Bosh, bosh, bosh! No! Oh. Okay. We got the job done, but... Oh, we lost a lot more Estus in that encounter than I would like. Right. Souls retrieved. 3,500. I think that's enough for another level up if we wanted. Large soul. Come on. What's to be discovered around here? Give me... Oh! That is what I love to see. Around the corner. <laughs> and three alluring skulls. And a horrible dog. Okay, come on. Let's go. Here we go. This looks like a very big new area or something. I'm scared. Scared. Yeah, I can see you, mate, with your giant weapon. Oh, hang on. 
I don't seem to I don't seem to be able to target him, so I reckon he's an NPC. Treasure ahead, therefore time for rolling. Okay. Not sure I trust any messages anymore. Try ring. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Hmm. No matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you'll go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You, here, <laughs> in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some more lovely voice acting there. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play, go on it. <laughs> okay, we got it. He thinks I can't handle it. He thinks I can't go through the bridge, uh, through the church. I can do it, I'm sure. Oh, have we opened up another shortcut? No, because it doesn't open from this side. Hmm, that's not something that usually happens in Dark Souls. <laughs> okay. It's just, before we go in through the big doors, let's just have a little scout. The Dark Souls like to kind of, you know, put little ledges and stuff off cliffs and hide goodies there. But, um, so it's always good to have a look. But, I mean, it says try the ring. Or something like that. Try ring. Oh, hello. You can drop down there. I think maybe you need like the cat ring. Oh, do you know? I think I've got a feeling I'm. Oh, I don't know. Oh. I was gonna say I've got a feeling I can survive that, but um, no, I can't. <laughs> I hope. I'm mean, obviously I'm gonna get back here now. I hope that my souls are not. At the bottom of that pit. Because <laughs> they that's them gone if they are. Right, here we are. And it didn't take me half as long as I thought it would do to get back. So, we're going to recover the lost souls. We're not going to try and jump down that hole again. So, it's into the church. Is this going to be another boss? I've got a feeling it is. But... Oh, no, no. It doesn't. This is. There's no way this is a boss room. It's way too narrow. Be very harsh. Oh. Oh, hello. There's a lift going. Okay. Oh, oh. Is that Onion Bro? Hey, Onion Bro. Please be friendly. Oh. Okay. I got really worried there. <laughs> Good times. Mmm. Come on, it's your old friend. Pardon me, sort of. I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Looks more like an onion. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. 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 So he wants the lift to go up, but at the moment it only goes down. This lift, oh, with a little warming up, eventually... No. No. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Okay, so maybe with a bit of warming up it might go up. Right, well, I, I actually quite want to go down because 
Um, I need to go to the lower, the, like the lower high wall area, don't I? So maybe going down is going to lead me there. Because I need to see Grey Rat's lady friend. Try luring it out. Okay. Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Right. What have we got in store for us? Have we just jumped off something that we can't... G oh, no. I was going to say, we've, if we jumped off something that we can't get back up. So we're trapped down here. But no. It's all good. Okay. Dashing through ahead. Try the lift. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> the messages definitely make it more scary. I know that if, if it wasn't for the messages, I'd just kind of... Ugh. If it wasn't for the messages, I'd just kind of walk into it and... It would be a, a kind of... I guess a different kind of pain. Ah! My God. Okay. Oh my God. He's fast. Okay. I want my shield out. Okay, okay. I can handle this. I can handle this. Try luring him out. Uh. That's, oh my god, he got a full whack on me there, didn't he? Uh, no! Oh my god, that guy is fast. What is that? Oh god. Okay. Back we go. Oh, God, it's go the lift's going up this time, not going down. What? What's going on? I did want to go back down, but now I'm going up. Okay. <laughs> well, it's not the end of the world, because it means I don't have to face that thing again. Or at least not right now. But I did want to go down and fight him again. Oh, well. I've been taking a different route. An ally ahead, therefore friendship required ahead. Oh. You're a bit big. I hope he is an ally. Friend. Oh my god, he is. I can talk to him. Hello, sir. He looks like one of the giants that opened the gates to Sen's Fortress. Who are you? Yeah, I'll make peace. I help any time. Give me a young white brunch. I help any time. Oh wow, is this the guy who Is this the guy who's been firing arrows at us all this time? He has got a ginormous bow and some ginormous arrows behind him. Okay, well first bit of help, mate. If you could stop firing arrows at me, that would be a lovely. So young white brunch. Used to transform into something which blends into the surroundings. Ooh. So a bit of camouflage. This is a branch of white birch received from a giant. Apparently has a token of friendship. Becomes something that blends into the surroundings. Okay, so that's exactly the same as the one that I wasn't given by giants. Okay. Right, okay. Cheers for that. It looks like it was pretty useful coming here then, if only just to get him to leave me alone. I'm, I mean, I'm hoping that's what it's done. It means he's going to leave me alone, and who knows, he may even help me out. But I don't think there's anything else to do here. So it looks like we are going back down to fight that horrible dude. Right, okay, okay. We're a little bit more prepared now. We kind of... I have an idea of what <laughs> what's in store for us, at least. I um, wonder if I could get a couple of hits in with the magics before he has a chance to unleash hell on me. No, no, no. That was a really bad idea. Oh, God. Come on. <laughs> um. Oh, what? Oh, that is classic Dark Souls, that is. He's just stabbed me through a wall. What? <laughs> stabbed through a wall. Not even like 
Sometimes it's like a bit round the corner and you could kind of understand it. That was just plain stabbed through a solid concrete wall. <sighs> right, okay, back again. Let's not get stabbed through the wall this time. Um, I've also, I've totally written off the idea. Oh my god, we've got 7,000 souls here. By the time we kill this guy, if we ever do, we should be able to get two level ups, I would have thought. Um, yeah, I, I've totally, oh god, don't be cruel to me, camera angle. I've written off the idea of um, using any magic on this guy, because I just think, um, oh my god. I just think I can't do my spells fast enough. Is this like, ah, oh, is this like Vord's little brother or something? Ugh. Yeah, I just can't do my spells. No! Oh my god. This guy's too fast. He's too fast. Um. All right, I'm gonna use an ember. Let's see what we can uh, see what we can do. You never know. There might be someone around who wants to help me out or something. If not, look at that. I've got a nice boost in health. Ooh, what's this? Five hundred and twenty. I take it that must be a human. Otherwise, that's the <laughs> although. I mean, either way, human or not, that's a not the best. Ah. Um, oh. There's another one here. You coming? Where are you? Hello? No? Maybe not. Okay. Minerva. Unable to summon Phantom. Okay, fair enough. Have it that way. Due to a timeout. Okay. Ah, whatever. We'll get by on our own. We might find something else. You know, another one along the way or something. Plunge! Plunge and the double kill. Look at this. Our robes glow a lovely red when we are embered up. Meh. Seems it was wishful thinking <laughs> to, to think that there might be a, a summon down here. Or something. Either an NPC or a human. Okay, looks like we have to do it on our own. At least we've got more HP now. And um, I think it gives a boost to other stats as well. And one thing I've done is I've removed... Remember I had that ring on that makes your pyromancy stronger, but means that you take more damage? Well, I'm not doing any pyromancy, so I've taken that off for now. Oh, oh come on! Drinky, drinky. Ah! There we go. Come on, no, no! Oh my god! It's just too fast, man. How am I, how am I going the wrong way or something? Because this is really annoying. I don't know any other way to go. Right, I am back here purely to grab my souls because I just didn't want to lose. I didn't want to leave that many behind. But now I think I'm going to homeward bone out of here. Back to... We'll go to the shrine actually because we do want to level up. Got so many souls. Right, so I did a little bit of leveling up and I've decided to just go to a different bonfire just to kind of check out if there's anything around and see if there's anything I've missed because I'm fed up. <laughs> fed up of going where I'm going and getting absolutely battered. So I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm sure there's more to be seen. And I know someone said to me that there's a lot of back backtracking to be done in this game compared to the other ones because... Oh, hello. Chop you down. Um, because there's a lot of, like, I've already seen, like, loads of doors where, you know, there's a, loads of locked doors, basically, where obviously you'll have to come back later when you've got a key. So, I guess let's... 
I chopped you down ages ago, didn't I? I'm sure I chopped you down. There you go. Chop you down again. Oh. Let's see how he likes some of this when he comes around the corner. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> hey. <laughs> right, he's dead. Oh, of course, yes. This is the big... The big. Of course, this is the uh, the big party. Anyone want a fireball? There we go. Oh, Loretta's bone. What? Loretta's bone was, or rather, Loretta was the woman that Grey Rat told me to go and see. See if we can have a look at this in safety. Old human bone with several holes bored in it. An old discolored human bone with several holes bored into it. A woman's corpse in the undead settlement was found clutching this bone. Her name was Loretta. Oh, so it's not Loretta's bone. Although the dead corpse holding the bone was Loretta. Oh dear. I think we've got some bad news for Grey Rat. Oh. Well, that was nice. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna very quickly grab my souls back and then I'm gonna go pay a Grey Rat a visit and break the news to him. Right, so back here at Filing Shrine, and I just need to find my buddy, a grey rat. I can't remember where. Oh, there he is! With his little bag on his head. Bad news, buddy. Oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part, huh? Give him L L L L Loretta's bone. Heavens! She was already dead. Thank you. I'm not surprised, though. Almost a relief, really. Hmm. Uh -huh. You can keep the ring. As... Well... A little trinket of thanks, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you, Greyrat. Sorry to bring the bad news. Has got anything you can else keep to the say? Ring as... No. Goodbye. Okay. And stay. Oh, stay what? I don't know. <laughs> ah, like the like a dream. What? I don't know. Right, I'm gonna end the episode there. At least I feel like I've done something today. I've brought some peace to Greyrat. Um, this game is really hard, <laughs> even by Dark Souls standards. Either that, or I'm going the wrong way, or something, because I'm seriously struggling. Um. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do next time, but I'm sure I'll bundle through in some way. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Back we go.